the pelican rig, which I have created a couple versions of. So, what is the idea? I'm glad that you asked. So, whenever you have jo joints and they're moving around a specific object, like in this example, they're following this object. So, the pelican is welded to these joint barrels. I believe they're called the barrel cages. The hinge cages, actually. I don't know why I called it barrel. But, uh... So why use that instead of a simple cage? Like a ball cage, for example. It could be done. You could put a ball cage here, a ball cage there, and a ball cage here. And it would work. It'd probably hold it more uh, sturdy. Because as you can see, these things, they can kind of bounce around. But it's not important. Um, I'm not going to click the button just yet. But I would like to show you something. Turn it to I think maybe oh I need to turn on my heartbeat. What is a heartbeat? Heartbeat is basically something that spams a message and you can use it to have all of your scripts um, depend on it whether or not they're actually going to start the game logic that whatever you're developing. So like for example, let's say in Forge, I want to forge and I don't want my game mode to just start doing shit when I go to Forge. So I turn on the heartbeat. Um, I figured out it was a bit redundant to have a fourth cage because we are only working with three um, three uh, dimensions, you know, so forward, back, left, right, up, down. So now that everything's on and enabled, we can uh, rotate this and kind of busted already. Uh, I think it has to do with me being in South Korea, which it's very important to have uh, good servers for the game in order for any of the really complex scripting to work the way that you want it to. But I am just going to hit this button and uh, show you what happens here. I can just place this on the ground. We're going to do that. So as you can see, when the pelican turns, the joints move a little bit. Um, they're chasing this uh, leading joint. But because they're chasing it all at the same time, at the same rate, Due to their distance being relatively the same, it's a very reliable system. Um, however, I do need to reset map state so I can demonstrate a little bit more. Um, is this is a heartbeat. This is a heartbeat. All right, let's try this. Hopefully I don't fucking break it right away. So we can move it around really smoothly. Like you'd expect a pelican to be able to fly forwards, backwards, around a circle. Um, which means we can script this to go from here 
to here, here to here, here to here, and we can script it to rotate. So notice what the joint balls are doing if we look very closely. They're cutting the corner, which is what causes this to happen. And that's why we need to use joint barrels. As long as we don't rotate, like, literally, you know, like out of control, it can handle, basically, any velocity of rotation we need it to go. I don't know what the scientific rate of rotation is, but it works pretty well. Uh, and as I was saying, sometimes the server will have a hiccup and shit will break out. Of, and, and that's why these are contraptions and you don't really see these in custom games. You don't really see cool stuff like this because people like me couldn't figure out how to make it work and not break. Because you have to think about um, if it breaks for anyone whenever they're playing, it's kind of stupid. Uh, so you can have it rotate and move. It works regardless of the distance. Of course, the rate at which it's going to rotate is going to correspond to how far they need to move. But it's so smooth. It is very smooth. You know, imagine being a player, you know, and you just see a pelican come down and rotate to pick y'all up. And y'all hop in. It rotates and it gets the hell out of there. It's pretty cool. And it's it's really scalable, you know. And with us being able to be in the interior, I really wanted to make a game mode where you'd get blown in via pelicans. Um, it's not too late to do this in Halo Infinite, of course, with some of the scripting leaks that have happened. Um... Now, mechanically, I put some space here between the cage and the ball right here because there is a chance that the ball goes too far due to desync or whatever, right? Um, so no matter what, it's going to work pretty well. And as I was saying, sometimes it'll pop out due to the server still like initializing some stuff. Like earlier, I was kind of scared because I was like, Hold on, is this going to work or what? Um, but yeah, I'm going to end that off right here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed just a quick little video. Something I made and something that might help you guys out. Um, as for what this is actually made of. And this was for this case of testing. Whenever you're testing a contraption, you have to have a, cop a copy. Like a base copy. You copy it. You make your edits and then you test it because these things will break apart when you're actually making them. You know, stuff, depending on the canvas, it might fall through the map. You know, you never know. Always keep a copy, a source copy of what you've made so that way. And this Pelican doesn't have any scripting. I, well, it might have some scripting on it, but... I'm going to unweld it just to see. I know I'm breaking my my stuff. Yeah, the, the pelican is not scripted, but these joints are scripted to move in relation to... And then these joint barriers. I don't know why the hinges are scripted. Um... Uh, because the hinges don't actually do anything. I think I might have just selected, because these two scripts might be the same here. Alpha move horizontal 5.5. This one. Hmm. Very strange, but it doesn't matter because the pelican is the group, the welded parent. It's not going to let any of these other scripts trigger. But yeah, so this, simple simple cages, simple balls, and then I just have an advanced ball controlling where it goes. And you can script this, action target it to like a, like, if you wanted to. And uh, I kind of broke my own creation here. 
but if you wanted to, you could set up these joint um, balls wherever you want your pelican to go, and then see if your pelican will fit there or go there, and then boom, you have a place your pelican's going to be no matter what.